So, um, currently in the arc right now. Working on some code. And uh, also working on a project. So, super exciting. A lot of stuff going on here, folks. A lot of stuff going on. They say. Man, I was so young. Even though that was like five months ago. What is going on, everyone? Jossie Lynn Jay here. Really, the, the point of this channel is to inspire you all to advance in your careers. Obviously, it's primarily focused on computer science and software engineering. One thing I never talked about is why I chose computer science. So I wanted to touch on that subject a little bit. I'm just really passionate about like what I do and I'm really passionate about helping you get to where you wanna to get to. I really wanna help you choose the right major and to let you all know that you do not have to be a computer science major to be a software developer or a software engineer. The main reason why I became a computer scientist, as blunt as possible, is that I really found that the other majors were pretty boring to me. So I had two experiences that helped shape me and help position me into being more of a like software type of person. The first one was robotics in high school. I took an engineering course and of course we did the VEX robotics competition, which was amazing. I always thought that I loved building and I loved the idea of creating robots. However, I found quickly that it makes me drowsy to build stuff. I know that may sound weird, like not like side projects at home where I'm building a desk or a chair, but like building the robot was really boring. However, building the software for the robot was really intriguing to me and I found it really fun, especially when it came to the autonomous part of the vehicle. That was really cool. I also did a program at Cornell University. It's called the Cornell Catalyst Academy Engineering Program. Catalyst Diversity Academy Engineering Program. It was a really long name, but it was an amazing experience where I learned how to code. That was really the first place I learned how to code and I learned all the math that is required for like computer science. To make a long story short, we had a group of four and we were building a smart home. I chose to actually program the smart home with one of my teammates and I think we programmed in either C or C++ and I found it so fun to actually program something into a microprocessor and controller and actually see it come to life. We programmed the water coolant to make sure that the house didn't get too cool or the house get too hot and we also had LED lights that we programmed and they all functioned based off of the environment around the house. So if the house got really, really hot, the water coolant turned on. If the house was too dark, the LED lights turned on, but we couldn't forget about the comfortability factor and the cost. So we couldn't always turn on the water coolant or the LED lights. We had to manage the comfortability and the efficiency. Fast forward to summer of, was it 2014? Or spring of 2014, I had a meeting with the Dean of Academics for the college I ended up attending. And he basically, we talked about like different majors and like asked me, hey, which major would you like to choose? And I was like, I'll choose computer science. I thought, I, honestly, when I applied to colleges, I applied to like a number of different like technology and engineering majors because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do and I like wanted to give myself an easier chance to get into the college. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll apply to like tech at this school or engineering at this school, depending on how difficult it was just to get my foot in the door. Now I gotta be real with you all I kind of sorry about that kind of battled with the idea of becoming a computer science major because I had some struggles and I just was like maybe this isn't for me I literally scheduled classes to become an industrial systems engineer major but I found out that my college doesn't really offer the path within industrial systems that I wanted because I still wanted to be software related but maybe less programming. And then I shadowed someone who was a consultant and the specific ISC route I wanted to take would kind of navigate me to that type of job. And I realized that, I realized really quick that I love creating, like that is why I became an engineer. Like I may be software driven instead of, you know, maybe circ instead of circuits or you know machine machinery but I still love creating and that's why I stuck with computer science so I got a lot of questions from you all regarding like hey should I choose this major they said had they finished college maybe some of these top companies 
wouldn't have said, oh, maybe your algorithm would have been perfect or better had you stayed in school longer. And I don't want you all to deal with that. Also, when, whenever you all are interviewing or whenever you are a part of the applicant process, application process, it can be quite competitive, especially when you're on the east and west coast in the bigger cities. So they look at the college you went to and what type of degree you got. And that's still an important aspect. Now, if you're just this genius who has multiple apps used by thousands of people, they may not care. But if that isn't the case, I would stay in school, folks. I also get asked, hey, do I need this degree to become a software engineer or developer like myself? Believe it or not, I work with a diverse group of people from all different walks of life, different age groups. So if you're 50 something years old, and you wanna go back as a CS major or you wanna to go to a coding bootcamp and become a programmer, kudos to you. And, and also, it's totally possible. Like, keep chasing your dreams. I meet people, I work with people who didn't get into the software industry until like 10, 20 years after they were in, you know, healthcare as a nurse but they got the job as you know a software tester because they had or a software engineer because they had a background in healthcare so we can train you to become a programmer but we can't train that knowledge that you have as a nurse and we build products that help nurses and doctors work more efficiently and you can give us a better a better understanding of what their process is to help us build better products you get what i'm saying when it comes to choosing the right major i would stick with you know something that you really enjoy in my mind i do something that i like until i make enough money to do something that i love also if you are someone who feels like that you're struggling but you're majoring in something like computer science don't you worry keep striving keep continuing to persevere through that major. I know it's very difficult, but it is so rewarding. You have internships that offer 30 an hour and free housing to inspire you to continue majoring in something that could change your life. So you all can treat this video more as like a podcast, something that you can continue to replay. I wanted to do a live stream, but this MacBook Air front facing camera just isn't the best. After I come from work and work out, it's pretty late outside and the lighting is pretty terrible. Leave a comment below whether or not you like to see live streams and like different topics you like to see for live stream. I think that'd be really dope and help me stay connected and build a better relationship with you all who are my viewers and my audience. I'm doing this for you because I love you all and I want you all to be successful. Never forget faith over fear no matter what you all are going through in life. It can only get better, especially when you feel like you're in the valley or you're at the bottom. For those who are still here, give this video a thumbs up, share it with a colleague a peer or a friend who just needs some sort of inspiration, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so we can stay connected and continue to grow this family. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. I will see you all soon. Peace. My alarm is going off.